Hi, and today we're talking about the Fiamma cargo pack, luggage bag, for the back of your motorhome. Um, and this is a water, made of waterproof polyester. And it comes in this box, and it comes just with the bag and two securing travel straps. So, oh, let's just pick this up. And all the instructions that you get are here. So don't expect more instructions in terms of how to fix it. This is what it is, but you need to have some sort of bike rack at the back of your van. So here's the bag in situ. Um, let me just come back a little bit so we can see that a bit better. So that's it in, on the back of our um, motorhome. We've got quite a small motorhome. Um, and so it comes just as a loose bag. You can get a little frame that goes inside and we'll talk about that in a moment but if you don't then this is what will happen the bag will collapse it is secure enough um, but it will basically fold it on itself it doesn't look that pretty but it does do the job um, and I've got one of these it's got a space on the back of it for one of these warning boards and that is le uh, a legality in some countries and a recommended thing in other countries so um, and just bear in mind that the board that I've got in here is an aluminium one and that is a legality in Italy, I believe. Whether they'd stop you or not is another question. So that is how it would look. It's got two camping chairs in it at the moment. Um, and I've put our little reverse, we've got a little separate reversing camera and that's what that is at the bottom. So I've just put it on the bottom there. So, but obviously I need to remember to take it out and especially if we're somewhere where it might get stolen, anyone could just reach in and take it. Um, so that's the bag as it is. Now, if you choose to get a frame to go in it, this is the frame and it comes in separate little bits, uh, quite straightforward. It comes with a nice little carry bag as well. Um, and I'm just gonna focus in because you'll see that it's got these connecting points, uh, and but they actually plug into the back of it. So you can see just here, it plugs into the back of it as well. So I'm just gonna attach the final two. I didn't think of this while I was still holding the uh, the camera. Okay, so I've put it together. Uh, yeah, I didn't think about needing three hands to hold the video and the extra pieces uh, when I was doing it. So this is it now in situ um, on the back of the van. Um, and you'll see uh, we've got just the little red straps attaching it at the back here. And then we've got these two long straps that comes with the bag and they go around the red straps do as well of course they're fixed to the bag but the long straps come around and they'll just tie it onto the base of the um, bike carrier as well um, so uh yes yeah, so i've i've moved i've just removed one of them can you see this so i just removed that one and the only reason i did that was because i've got chairs in there which are quite long and they wouldn't actually fit through without me removing it. So I've removed it, but I just put it back in. It's very easy to take them out and put them back in once they're in situ. So I'm just gonna move to a different angle and then we'll carry on. So I wanted to move to this different angle just to show you this um, because this may be relevant to yours as well. So you can probably see where the bike rack is. Now I'm six foot, I'm just over six foot tall. And this is what it's like for me um, putting a chair. So here's my chair. I'm just going to pop it in the top. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to put this little strand back in. There we go. And so I think that's one of the things that you need to consider that it's quite difficult, it's quite high to actually put the stuff in, and it has to go this way up. You can't really have it the other way so it's good that it's high in the sense that you can fit a lot of stuff into it potentially but it's not good because you've got to have the access so I mean you can you know to some extent you can come through the front here as well so you don't have to go right over the top of the frame and you can like I say easily take these bits out to um, to get to it but just bear that in mind that I know one person who bought one and they rejected it for that reason that it was just too much of a struggle getting in and especially getting down to the bottom here that if you've got to go right down to the bottom I'd say it's not so easy if you're not quite tall, but you, you, you know, so bear that in mind. So there we go, that's it fitted. It does look quite neat. Um, it's quite a tight fit with the frame. So doing the zip up is also quite a challenge. Uh, it's okay. 
it's okay. And I mean, this is quite well designed. You can see these little flaps. So that comes down and completely covers the zip. Um, so I think, you know, it's gonna be fairly good from the water ingress point of view, that, that should be okay. Um, so, would I recommend it? I think, uh, I think you've got to be sure this is the right solution for you. So the advantage is with it, it's quite easy to take on and off. And, and of course it folds small. So if you find that you only need it for some of your trip, it's quite easy to stow it away inside the van if you don't need it all the time. It doesn't add too much to the length of the van. You can probably see just a little bit of extra. Um, one of the main reasons we got it, I don't know if you can see on our van, our van has a very short wheelbase, so it's quite a small van, it's only just over five metres, but it has a very short wheelbase and there's a lot of overhang at the back. And so what I was concerned about with putting a box on the back was actually that it would take too much weight at the back and take the its front wheel drive on ours as it is with most, so it might just mean that we had less traction at the front. So I was very conscious of that. Um, but saying that, uh, would I recommend it? We're going to see how it goes. Um, they come in at about, I think the bag is about £90, the frame is about 55 I was lucky and I got a second-hand frame on eBay, so I paid about £30 for that, but still, so around about £120 for me, but normally it'd be around £150 for the whole setup if you have the frame as well. Um, and you can get a decent aluminium box probably for... 220 250 pounds so that wouldn't be too much more and we may go in that direction in the future now i've got i've actually put um all-terrain tires on the van and that's made a big difference for me in terms of handling and grip so um so i might decide to go to go with for the box in the future um but anyway hopefully that's that's helpful to you um just to get an idea of what it is because i couldn't find anything on youtube just to give me an idea uh and uh yeah, there you go. That's the Fiamma luggage pack.